Hello and welcome back to Today We Craft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really simple microwavable plate cozies. For this project you are going to need some 100% cotton or bamboo wadding. It needs to be 100% natural fibres if you plan on putting it inside the microwave. In previous projects I have used this thermally reflective wadding. However, because it's synthetic, at very high temperatures, it does have the potential of melting. If your plan is to put a hot plate into the cosy after it's been in the microwave, you can use this material, but make sure that you never put it in the microwave. If you want to put it in the microwave with the plate, use the 100% natural wadding. You're also going to need 100% cotton for the outside of the bowl cosy. I'm going to use two different colours, but you can use the same fabric if you like. You're also going to need a plate, which is what we're going to use as the template, a sewing machine, scissors and a pencil. Place your plate onto the reverse of your cotton fabric. Draw all the way around the plate, leaving a one inch seam allowance. Cut this out and then use it as a template for the other fabric and your wadding. Some of you might be wondering why I'm using scissors, not my roller cutter. It's because I can't find it. It's around here, somewhere. This is a great way of using up small scraps of wadding that you have left over from other projects. That's your three circles cut out. I'm gonna give them a quick press to get rid of these creases. The first thing we're going to do is attach one of the pieces of cotton to the wadding. We're going to do this by sewing a simple cross right through the centre of the fabric. The easiest way of working out the centre is to fold your fabric in half, taking a pencil or chalk marker, sliding it between the two fabric pieces and drawing a line along the centre. This works better on lighter coloured fabrics. Don't worry about being able to see the mark later because these are machine washable and will come out the first time you stick it in the washing machine. Match up the points and do the other side. Just a reminder that links for all the materials used in this project can be found in the description below. Take this to your sewing machine and attach using a simple running stitch. I've used black thread for this project just so it's easier for you to see, but feel free to use a corresponding thread of your choice. Now we're going to give the plate cosy some shape. Start off by folding your quilted fabric in half. We're going to create a dart in this corner to create a slightly curved edge to our plate cosy. We get this measurement by measuring from the point where the plate starts to curve to the edge of the plate. In this instance, it's one and a half inches. Then we're going to add one inch to this measurement, bringing it to two and a half inches. Then mark this measurement along the sewn edge of your quilted fabric. Next, we're going to measure the depth of the plate. In this instance, it's just under one inch. We're going to take this measurement and halve it. Mark this on the curved edge of your quilted fabric. Draw a line between these two points and that is going to be our sewing guide. Repeat this for the other four corners on the quilted fabric. Once all four corners have been sewn, trim off the excess. And that's half your bowl cosy completed. Now we're going to do exactly the same with the other piece of fabric. Place the two pieces right sides together, making sure that the corner pleats match up. Use some pins to secure this all the way around the edge. You like my pin cushion? My friend's mum made it for me. Isn't it great? Mark a point to make sure that you leave a hole that we can turn the whole thing through. Now we're going to sew all the way around the project, making sure we leave this opening and we're going to do so with about a one quarter inch seam allowance. Remove the pins, and trim off any excess around the edge, except where the hole is. Now we can turn the whole thing inside out through the hole. If you'd like, you can take an iron and just press around the edge of your project to make sure it sits nice and flat. This isn't essential, but it will make the next step easier. When you get to the spot where the hole is, Fold the edges inwards. Once pressed, you can pin it to secure. Maybe wait until it's cooled off a bit. The 
final step is to sew all the way around the edge of your project as close to the edge as possible. Trim off any excess threads and your plate cosy is finished. It's fully reversible, machine washable and will help stop you from burning your fingers. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video then please do hit that subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing but really helps out the channel. I'd also really appreciate it if you could hit that like button as this tells YouTube that you enjoy our content and you want us to make more. See you next time! If you have a moment, here's some more videos that we think you might enjoy.